Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this 117. My name is Matt, and I'm part of the Church's team here at All We Can. And this is our opportunity, as we say here at 117, to gather together, to hold together as we, uh, as a community here on the All We Can Facebook channel and also YouTube, wherever you're watching this, just hold together at this moment in time. It was inspired by that passage in Colossians, Colossians 117, which Paul wrote, speaks about how God holds all things together. So I want to ask the question today, how's your Sunday? How's your Sunday going? We'd love to hear uh, what you've been doing this Sunday. Uh, great to see so many familiar faces already joining us here once again at 117. Good to see you, Abby, joining us here live. Colin, as ever, it's great to see you. It's great to hear from you as well. And good afternoon, Joyce, as well. Lovely to hear from you as well. Love to say, how is your Sunday? What have you been up to? Uh, what have you uh, been enjoying this morning already? What worship service have you been a part of today? I would love to be able to hear from you as well. Now, you'd be glad to know it's not just me here today at 117, but actually you've got a very special, we've got two special guests that are going to be joining us. And the first one, uh, for me, needs no, no introduction really, um, but he's a minister over on the east, east, east part of the country, uh, Lower Stoft, uh, Gunton Baptist Church. It's my dad. Uh, and um, but to you, he's Ian Forsyth. Good afternoon, Dad. Are you there? Are you there? You're live? I'm definitely here. Yes, I'm here. Yep. I know. It, it <laughs> seems so far away, but we're so close, Matt. Good yeah. to see you. All right? How's I'm very well, you very going? well. This is like a like a family conference like we used to have in a day on a Sunday afternoon. So how how was your Sunday yeah, going, well, Dad? It used to be Sunday chocolate, but there we go. I know, I know. How was your Sunday going, Dad? It's going very, very well, actually, Matt. Thank you. Uh, we've just uh, done a live service on our uh, Facebook in uh, Gunton Baptist. It went very well. Uh, with uh, along with your mum, Diane Forsyth, yeah. my wife, and uh, so that went very well. And then we've also uh, done a recording uh, week, uh, but no one in the church knows that, so that's a secret. Okay, good. Well, there you go. The spoilers out. Gunton Baptist Church has just done a recording, but um, Dad, you know, you weren't, um, you know, forgive me for saying this, but you weren't really that privy to Facebook before this lockdown began. You weren't on Facebook. Um, how have you found being on Facebook, doing services online? Um, I mean, you've been doing it now for what, 12, 15 weeks probably? H how's it been going? It's been very different, Matt. Um, I think the first uh, service went very well, spectacularly. I think um, I had all every single emoji that you could possibly ever imagine actually come up on the screens. Uh, I now know what buttons to press. Um, but about 30 years ago, believe it or not, I did a Christian uh, TV production course in Canada. And uh, quite a lot of the things that uh, I learned in, I'm now really got to dredge up the past of the broadcasting course. But obviously for a lot of us, it's for, uh, for ministers. Um, the central thing for me has always been reading God's word and applying it to my life. And so I'm centered. But for many of us, like all of us, uh, we're having to adjust to the lockdown. So we, yeah. the church, have provided a newsletter. We provided um, Facebook Live. And also um, I'm writing letters 
to people on the fringes of the churches, the church, and also uh, working with uh, Low Star Rising, helping people. And so uh, the actual building itself, as we know, is locked down, um, but uh, we're looking at reopening that sometime uh, in the future. We don't know when. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely been a change, and I have to say I did enjoy your. I've been doing a lot of your services. Don't get me wrong, but I did particularly enjoy that first one, um, the first five minutes of you doing the Lord's Prayer with certain emojis flying around your head. It did, it did make me laugh. But also, it's been a great opportunity for the church just to try new things to have. You know, it's, it, I think it's been a good. I say it's been good in regards to you know it's been great to see the church actually um, embrace a new form of worship. Um, probably been forced to do that, but embrace this new form of worship. And I wonder those in the comments, you know, love to hear, you know, how have you found going online? You know, kind of what's been the benefits, uh, but also maybe what's been some of the, the drawbacks as well. Because um, I, I know in your own community that there's, you know, like in every church, isn't it? Part of, part of them want to, we still want to gather, don't we? We want to be there physically, but also there's a real challenge to actually want to, continue to keep people safe and everything else. So there is that tension, isn't there, in, in for you as a leader to continue to, to hold that as well. Aren't, isn't that right for yourself? Sorry, you're breaking up quite a bit. So was that a question at the end then? Sorry about that. I think there was trying to be a question, but I think it's just, I, I think just recognizing for you as a leader, Dad, that there's a, there's a tension there of people wanting to gather again, isn't there? but also wanting to keep people safe. So actually being online is probably safer still right now. Am I right? Um, so, okay, so what I'm going to have to do is I have to wing it a little bit here, Matt, because uh, you're breaking up and it's sort of, obviously it must be the lowest. So one of the things that we have been doing on Zoom, and I know it's, a, it's not the ice lolly, I hasten to add, all right? So... Uh, and many of you know. So we've been going, and the house group is now on Zoom, our deacons meetings are on Zoom, um, and also our prayer and praise has gone on Zoom. And um, yeah. I think one of the things that we're challenging the church to do is to uh, meet up uh, socially distanced, um, but also uh, to maybe take a treat to someone, and uh, maybe to speak to someone who you actually haven't met. During, um, and so, we're challenging myself and the church over these next few weeks um, as we're thinking about reopening is to to look at that social aspect, to uh, to be caring for one another and to be kind to each other, um, because there are many people who are hurting and grieving at this time. Uh, like it, it's unprecedented, if that makes sense. The isolation yeah. uh, is huge. Yeah, you're right. Definitely. And, and, and obviously we that's this is what 117 is about for us to gather online at least to be able to hold each other together uh, and encourage one another as well and also hopefully bring a smile to people's faces dad i'm gonna take you out just for a moment uh, and i want to just um have a little bit of an advert break if i can um where we're going to bring in olivia um after this short little video but i want to introduce you to something that's very exciting here at all we can and uh, we're going to be running three sessions called change bringer sessions now um each year all we can runs uh, a year-long uh, campaign and you might have already heard about a change begins the bicycle campaign that we've just begun to launch and to introduce you to uh, some amazing work our partners doing out in uganda but I want to show you a little bit of a teaser of some of the sessions that we're going to be running in just a few weeks' time. So sit back, watch this, and then we're going to bring Olivia in to talk to her grandpa. Hi, my name is Matt, and I'm part of the church's team here at All We Can. And I want to introduce you to the Change Begins with a Bike campaign. We're seeing in places just like Uganda that the bicycle is not just a tool of transportation, but actually it's a tool of transformation. So I've got a question for you today. Do you and your church will be part of bringing about transformation? So if you do, here's what you do next. 
we're gonna invite you now to sign up to be part of one of the Change Bringers sessions online. There are these sessions that we're gonna be running for free. You're gonna receive all the resources, information you need for yourself and your church to be a part of the Change Begins with a Bicycle campaign. I hope you join us, hear from the experts, and hear from the community of Buttergaia how change begins with a bicycle. So all you now need to do is go ahead, click on the link, sign up to be one of the Change Begins with a Bicycle events, and I will see you there very soon. Take care. Fantastic. Well, I'm now no longer alone, which is brilliant. And we now have Olivia. Olivia, you're back here at 117. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Olivia loves being a part of 117. Um, for us, it's just an, a lovely opportunity to be together. We started it during lockdown, didn't we, me and you? Uh, especially on a Sunday where we would kind of get together uh, with all you folk live and also on replay as well. And just have a little conversation. Olivia, how's your Sunday been? Good. Good. What have, we, what have you done today? Um... We have been to Fairy Meadows. Went to Fairy Meadows this morning. So do a little opportunity to have a little bit of a, a little walk. And tell us, what did we do at Fairy Meadows? We we did a trail. Did a trail, an adventure trail. We're going to bring Grandpa in to say it. This is, so we're going to bring Olivia's Grandpa, my dad. Um, you out there, Dad? So you're, still, you're, you're still with us? The lower stuff Wi-Fi is holding up okay? Yeah, we're yes, still here. Don't worry. Good morning. <laughs> Olivia, you all right? Have you yeah. been on the trail this morning? Yeah. Tell, tell Grandpa and everyone live, what did we... Um, so you did a trail. What did yeah. you have to do on the trail? Um, we have to write the numbers on what they are going to be when they grow up and what they are. Exactly, you're right. So uh, on the trail, they had but it pictures of baby animals, and then you had the grown-up animals, so you had to try to match up the different pictures. And it was amazing, because you got them all right, didn't you? And yeah. you, what did you get as a prize? Um, I got a rainbow butterfly. A rainbow butterfly. Hear that, Grandpa? You got a rainbow butterfly. So what animals? I didn't catch that. Sorry, because you're just breaking up, Matt. What animals did you did, did you find? We found... What, um, the animals that we find were a shark, crab, stingrays, yeah. octopus, turtle, seal, uh, a crab. Um, that was pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So there's lots of exciting things. Um, and actually, you know, what we want to you know, try... a shark. Yeah, she got a shark. She didn't find a shark, she just, you know, there's a shark there. <laughs> so it's, it's breaking up, I apologise. It's all right, your Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. But anyway, what we're going to do now, Olivia, Grandpa said he's going to pray for us here at 117. Sure so I know often you, you, like, you, like, you like to pray at 117, but because Grandpa's here, we'll let Grandpa do it today. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so Grandpa, can you finish up our 117 today by praying for us? Can you pray for us, Grandpa, at 117? Okay, do you want me to pray now? Yes, please. Yes, please. Right, sorry, okay. Sorry, I... Giant pauses. I can just see you moving your lips, but I can't obviously lip read. So maybe I send you. Okay, let's just. Good loving father for the opportunity. And uh, we praise you and thank you uh, for all that you are doing through um, this 117. We ask, Lord, that you continue to watch over us and that you would lead us and guide us through your Holy Spirit and through your love for others. We just thank you and praise you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you've created for us to worship you. And we ask, Lord, your blessing on Matt and the family and those who are watching online, watching at a later time. We just thank you, Father, that whatever we do for your glory, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Thanks so much, Dan, for being here at 117. We appreciate it. And every one of you watching here, thank you so much for joining us here at 117 again. Um, it's been lovely to be here, isn't it, Livia? Yeah. And we will sure to be back very soon. Um, we're actually on holiday next week, so we won't be here myself, but there'll be other people here joining us at 117. Uh, and I hope you join us again at 117 tomorrow and throughout the week as well, as we continue to hold together. It's great to see uh, so many people saying hi, Olivia, to you as well. Um, Tim saying hello to you. Uh, Joyce was saying it sounds really exciting what we did, Olivia. It was very exciting, Joyce. I have to def uh, definitely would recommend it. And lots of you doing the praying hands emoji uh, and joining us here today mm -hmm. as we pray together. I just want to encourage you uh, one last time as well. Do head on over to www.allwecan.org.uk forward slash change bringers change bringers and there you find all the details you need to join us for one of our online events where we're going to be introducing the change begins the bike campaign all the resources you need to help run your very own service is that exciting Livia? Yeah. yes anything you want to say to the people before uh, they, they want to hear from me they want to hear from you anything you want to say no. nothing you want to tell them this is your opportunity you have 16 people live li listening to you what would you like to say uh I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, have a lovely rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon here at 117. My name is Matt, and this has been Olivia. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.